we have 43% of um, Labour MPs are women. I would want it to be more, and our aspiration is to gain at least 50% of women Labour MPs um, in Parliament. We do have ha we've had a process over 30 or 40 years of uh, development of women's sections, then women's forums in the Labour Party, and then a big debate about all women's shortlists, which was eventually one, and we have now have a process where a number of constituencies have all women's shortlists, which obviously results in a woman being selected as the parliamentary candidate. But I think the issue about women in Parliament actually goes back somewhat deeper than that, and that is the aspirations of girls and women in interest in public life and politics. Uh, it's a very interesting dichotomy. Uh, I attend um, local youth parliament elections in my constituency and it's overwhelmingly young women who want to be elected to the youth parliament, overwhelmingly young women who are passionately interested in politics rather than young men. Somewhere along the line this gets reversed and in their late 20s or 30s most political parties are of often dominated by aspirant young men who end up sometimes in councils and parliament. Not, not wrong of itself but there has to be an insurance that we get more women selected. And so our party is keen on developing um, women's interest. And we've just set up a, um, with Labour Women's Network, uh, a foundation which will help to promote uh, and train and mentor young women who want to become active in politics in memory of the late Joe Cox. And so we're promoting women in a positive way uh, within the party. And it was, of course, Labour that supported women's suffrage in the first place. One of our early leaders actually resigned from Parliament in order to ensure there was a by-election. So it goes through the Labour Party a long way.